Okay, this is going to be my last attempt at trying to get this Skull Zero Yeti 1500X to work before I bring it back to REI for a full refund. One of my viewers suggested that I upgrade the firmware, so what I'm going to do is go to the App Store. I have not looked up how to do this, so I'm going to wing it. Let me type in Gold Base Zero Yeti. There we go. Double click on the side button, open the app, allow, I guess, add new Yeti, sounds like a good choice. Select the connection type, direct connect while off grid. I guess I could choose anywhere. If the Wi-Fi indicator is not active, press the Wi-Fi button on the Yeti. The icon indicator is not blinking as shown, press and hold the Wi-Fi button for four seconds. So I'm going to press it and I don't see anything so I'm going to press it for four seconds. Okay, it's blinking. So I will go next. Would you like to use Bluetooth? Okay. Enable Bluetooth. I'm not sure why it brought me to that screen but let me go to Bluetooth. I don't know, it does not seem to be doing much of anything, so I'm going to go back to the app. Bluetooth. That. Select your Wi-Fi network. Okay. Done. Next. Okay. A new version of firmware is available, so I'm going to choose Update Firmware and say Update. Updating. I really hope this works because everything I've built in the van is pretty much reliant on, you know, the 8mm connectors I think these are and that connector, the ceiling fan, the refrigerator, the lights. The display went off here. The phone says 75%. Hope it's just rebooting. Okay, it seemed to lock up there. I had to restart it and reconnect and go through a whole mess of rigmarole, but I finally got it upgraded to the latest version of the firmware. It says successfully paired, finally. So now if I, let me check the firmware. No updates available, so it appears I updated the firmware. Now I can go outside and try this on my van. Okay, I have my solar panel in very bright sunlight and it is very early morning so it's at a very bad angle, but let's see how it's charging. Zero watts, 10, zero, one, 26, briefly, 27, 16, 12, zero, 16, zero, 20. All right, I'm going to wait a little later in the day, see if it works any better with the sun a little higher in the sky. But it appears the firmware update did not help whatsoever. Well, it's another day. It's a bright sunny day. My van is in the sun. Unfortunately, the battery is cold, so I am not going to be able to check on the input from the sun until things warm up. So that's another disadvantage of the lithium Goal Zero. As I understand it, it only works between 32 and 100 and something. I didn't have that problem with my Goal Zero Yeti 1250 with sealed lead acid batteries. Okay, it's 1253. My temperature up here says 58 degrees outside, 56 degrees inside, and the battery is still cold. So I'm going to go for an hour and a half, two hour bike ride and come back and see if it's not cold anymore. This is really bad. Okay, it's 235. This has been sitting here for quite a while in the sun. Another guy has a YouTube video where he shows his fluctuating up and down like mine was. Maybe mine's finally given up. I don't know. I was sitting here plugged in for quite some time. Thought I saw something there for a second. Oh, there we go. 19 0. 9, 17 0. 19 0. 9 0. 
23 0, 11 0, 13 0. So this is just like that other guy who I'll put a link to his video in the description of this video. Definitely seems to be a bad MPPT controller. And he has one, I have one. Who knows how many other people have one. Very disappointing. My Goal Zero Yeti 1250 was rock solid. It had never had a problem. I should have never gotten rid of it. Got this because I thought lighter and smaller would be better. And it's not. So I brought my 1500X back to REI where I purchased it. They took it right back, refunded my money. One great reason to use REI is if you buy a Goal Zero product, you can bring it back. Now I gotta figure out what I am going to use to power my 12 volt cigarette lighter Dometic refrigerator, my at least 5 amp ceiling fan, and some LED lights. And I'd also like to charge it from my 120 watt solar panel. So if you have any suggestions on what product to get, I'd greatly appreciate your input. Thanks for watching.